Hey guys, what's up? This is Manny from Tropical Glitz, and today we're talking about inner coat. What's the difference between inner coat, binder, and clear, and all the confusion that's wrapped around it? So stay tuned to this episode. Wait till we tell you what's up. Made in day, baby. Guys, so today we're talking about inner coat. What's so special about inner coat? Why is our inner coat so different? People say, "Hey, your inner coat? Do I need hardener?" It says inner coat clear. Is it a clear coat? It is a binder. What is it, guys? It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid between both. This has enough resin to be a clear coat. If you spray this wet enough, you will think it's a clear coat, but it does not have enough of the resin to be a, a clear coat where you need to have an isocyanine harder to activate it. This is a one-to-one. -one. This is designed to spray your candies, your metal flake, and give you enough millage so you don't have texture. You know, you know imagine spraying the metal flake and you're like, oh man, this looks like 80 grit sandpaper because the binders are designed to be so thin and millage. This is not. This is a hybrid. This is designed to work with this. This is what we made it. We haven't made it where it has enough thickness. It's uh, it's borderline a clear coat, but it's not a clear coat because it doesn't need the activator. And it's nowhere close to a binder and it is crystal clear. This has UV inhibitors, has balancing agents, all designed to spray your metal flakes, your candies, second to none. So the biggest thing is that this is what you want to use for everything that comes to custom. If you want to do your airbrush work and you want to lock down your layers, this is what you're going to lock it down with. And if you want to add a little bit of activator, you can go one part inner coat, one part reducer, and then 10% of volume with our base coat activator or inner coat activator. We recommend the inner coat activator. It gives you a, a lock, a faster locking window. You can also use the base coat activator. It'll keep the window a, bit, a little bit longer if you have a bigger project. The big difference between these two activators are the speed. Your inner coat activator is a little faster, a little tighter, because the majority of it is for artists designing to work on small pieces, where the base coat is for an overall piece. If you're doing a trunk, a hood, something a little bit bigger, and you need a little bit more of a window time the biggest thing here guys is that when you're mixing your flakes and people say hey i want to mix flake and clears don't do it don't do it what a waste of time what a waste of money when you mix metal flake into clear what does clear want to do it wants to self level it wants to lay out if you want to spray your metal flake like that great it's going to look like a big metallic paint job but it's not going to sparkle it's not going to dance where this sprays and this has the right agents so that metal flake stays exactly there and you're like whoa hey i got a lot of flakes standing up well yeah that's exactly what you want to do you want that flake to dance that you're standing still and you're looking at the car to car show and from a, across the parking lot you're like wow look at that job look at that flake job because it's just sparkling dancing that's what this is designed for if you want just a boring flat metal flake paint job go ahead mix it with clear do whatever you want to do but this is the 21st century and this is what we designed to work with our product this works with any of our dry products and you'll be surprised how much you can do with this. All it takes is a little bit of imagination. If you're more interested in any of our products, check out our website, www.tropicalglitz.net. Everything's there. And if you like the information we're giving you, like, subscribe. We have so much more soon to come.